make sure you don't have any grease or oil. We're doing a washout. So we're gonna climb up, climb up on this bar right here. And then you get these flanges. I'll show you right here. Get your tool. I always use this bar here. Helps me get them off a little bit. Whoa. You gotta make sure you don't fall. Loosen them all up. And I just looked inside the middle hatch and the overall the trailer is pretty clean. So this won't take long. I'm gonna undo the, normally you can undo them by hand, but this one's a little stiff. You always want to make sure these are tight when you put them back on because they have to keep the seal so you don't lose vacuum. And normally you have some oil or something to put on these threads so the next time you do it it's a little easier but I don't have any right now. All right. Like I said, this will wash out. Sometime I got a fresh water gig, so you have to have the trailer clean when you do the, uh, when you put fresh water in. More than likely it's going into a frack tank or something, so it doesn't have to be that clean. And we have a we have a designated fresh water trailer, but the pump went out on it, so gotta adapt and overcome. I'll show you back inside the trailer too. You always look to see sometimes there's sand that builds up or dirt. Uh, well, like I said this one's pretty clean, but we're gonna do a quick washout. Typically it takes about a half hour to do this whole process. It really sucks when it's minus 10, but not too bad today. Like 40. Now I'm not cooperating. Let's do a little more. There we go. This is what it looks like on the inside. You guys see? Be able to oil. Uh, normally it'd be sand or something on the bottom, but it's all clean. So we're just gonna wash it out real quick with this fire hose. Yeah, climb back down and be careful. You always gotta watch your step because you might have oil on the bottom of your shoes or whatever. You always wanna hold on to the rail while you're walking. You can walk on top of the trailer too, but again, a little slippery. Here's our fire hose and it's warm water. So then what you do is you get it. What I do is I put my knee on it, put my knee on it right there to hold it, you stick it in, and you turn it on. I got a little oil. You gotta kind of work it over in layers, and try to get all the little film of oil off. the noise of the wind. different some have catwalks some don't so we we'll climb up and get this last bit right here grab your uh, wing nut thing 
same deal. Put my knee on it. And lift it up. A little bit of oil, not too bad. Now hot water gets it off pretty quick. A lot of pressure from the hose. Pretty easy. It's real steamy, all the hot. Pretty cold, but it's probably 40. Not too bad today. I'm gonna try to hit all the spots that the oil might have cut. Just get that layer off. Alright, all right, we are done. Close these hatches up. You wanna make sure you line them up with the gasket. And then you just tighten them back up. Close it up. Make sure it's nice and tight because you don't want to lose any air on you. You want to wash out? Okay, I'll, you know, just, I'll go ahead and pull out for you, man. All right, so we're going to get out of his way. And we'll finish this up up there. That way you don't hold anybody up. All right. And that's it for that.